Welcome to the breathtaking coastline of northern New South Wales and Australia. In this video, we're taking you to some of the wildest nude beaches you've probably ever seen. Get ready for a journey from Sydney towards the border of Queensland with no less than six stops along the way for a skin dip. The first beach on our list is less than one hour and a half away from Sydney, just south of Newcastle. Birdie Beach is one of those typical Australian beaches you know from TV. It's long, it's white, the sand is bright white and the sea is azure blue. Although the whole beach is considered clothing optional, you can find the most naked visitors away from the entrance at the northern end of the beach. If you walk towards the rocks, you will find several natural pools where you will be protected from the waves and large fish. There is a large parking lot right next to Birdie Beach. The fee is 8 Australian dollars per vehicle per day. Moving on to the north of Newcastle, to what is probably one of the most spectacular beaches in this video. But before we get there, we need to make some adjustments to the car. Indeed, we just let some air out of our tires. If you don't have a four-wheel drive, don't even bother. But if you do have one, flattering your tires will allow you to have an adventurous drive through the dunes towards a spectacular nude beach. Samurai Beach is one of the few nude beaches in the world that allow motorized vehicles. It is possible to come by foot as well though. An important note here is to drive with caution, not just to protect yourself and others, but also the environment. Don't be the stupid kid we saw making donuts on the beach. Only by being thoughtful, the beach will remain a nude beach that is accessible by car. At the end of the beach is a campground, which can only be accessed via the beach, so your camper will need some power if you want to camp here. It is not considered a nude campground, but we found that the dress code was similar to the beach. After your visit to Samurai Beach, just go to the nearest gas station to put the air back in your tires. About an hour south of Coffs Harbour, we found yet another splendid nude beach at the bottom of a picturesque lighthouse. You can park at the lighthouse, from where a walking trail of about 30 minutes will take you down to the beach, along the way giving you some impressive views. North Smoky Beach is a very large beach and hardly ever gets crowded. So if you enjoy your privacy, this beach is definitely one you'd like to consider. Here too you can find small pools between the rocks that are protected from the wild ocean. Moving on to the north of Coffs Harbour, where you will find Little Diggers Beach. Well, hopefully you'll find it, because it is a little bit tricky. You'll need to park at the side of Furman Road, where the Diggers Head Trail starts. You walk past Diggers Beach and some very well located villas until the trail takes you into the woods. From there, you need to look for a dirt track away from the main trail that will take you down to Little Diggers Beach. This beach is more like a very large cove and the high rocks protect you from the winds. This makes it the perfect beach to go to on a chilly day, but on a hot sunny day, it's best to bring protection and a lot of water. Because this beach is quite hard to get to, you'll find that all visitors are naked. Next on our list is probably the most famous beach destination in New South Wales. The popularity of Byron Bay keeps growing year after year and also here are some places to get naked. The parking lot of Kings Beach is quite small, so it's best to come early. If you do find it full, there's more parking space near Broken Head Beach, which is just a 15 minute walk away. When you get down to the beach, there are two sections. Depending on the time of the day, you may find some shade in either section. Kings Beach is a very popular nude beach among locals as well as tourists and is also increasingly popular among the LGBTQ community. The last nude beach on our list unfortunately turned into a sad story. When we were filming at Tiagra Beach, there wasn't a cloud in the sky, literally or figuratively. 
But in recent weeks, the Parks and Wildlife Service has been trying to reverse the clothing optional status of this beach. If we're unlucky, these may be the last moments that this is an official clothing optional beach. So you might want to hurry your naked butt over there before it's too late. The parking fee is eight Australian dollars per vehicle per day. At the parking lot, you will find a sign saying where exactly you can find the clothing optional section. Now fingers crossed that this sign will stay here for a while longer. Have a look at the description of this video for more details about these nude beaches. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to learn more about clothes-free places around the world.